Yeah. I remember me and, me and D used to talk about this kind of stuff all the time. Like, what it's gonna be like when you get close to your dreams. I didn't know much then, but I'll probably tell you a little something now. Mr. Big Dreams, no tolerance. Cut you at the house and have a holler since. Get bored quickly. He stayed. I'm Miranda Evans, the president and founder of the Trouble Movement, Inc. We are a 501c3 nonprofit corporation. Trouble to me, uh, the book definition of it is beset by problems or conflict, but to me it's more than just, than just beset by problems or conflict. It's more adversity, depression, mental illness, sexual abuse, just tribulations and trials and all the things that we go through in life. And when they stick to us and we don't have a way to escape from them and a way to persevere and we look for, you know, love in other places. And so we just become troubled and just wound up in this bowl of adversity that we can't get out of. And we face different things and there's just a ton of bricks coming at us at one time. So I think trouble is having to deal with all of that and not releasing your silence and just dealing with it internally. And it tends to affect your behavior and your attitude, the way you behave in school or just in life in general. Um, and I think that's more so what trouble means. And that's what it meant to me in my life personally. My name is Sharice Martin and I am the treasurer of the Trouble Movement. I joined the Trouble Movement because the vision that Miranda had for this organization and the things that she wanted to do, they already aligned with the issues that I saw and some of the things that I wanted to do. And her fire was just so great. She was just on, so on fire for the organization and really like pushing for it to grow. It just, it brought out that fire in me. It made me want to help. It made me want to act on the things that I saw and, and the, everything that I had written down in a book that I wanted to do. You know, it made me want to bring that to life. And I see this organization growing to be so big that when people have issues or they know someone who has an issue, the first thing that pops into their mind is the trouble. Just like they think about other organizations that can help with feeding the needy or anything else. When you think of someone who's in trouble, the first thing I want you to think of is the trouble because we become that big. And how can I help with that? I can help with that by being the best me possible that I can be, by staying involved, by continuing to keep an open eye and an open ear to the issues that are going on and continually thinking about how I can solve those issues. Always staying abreast, always staying ahead of the curve. I joined the Trouble Movement because in the black community, specifically here in Houston, there is a huge deficit and that deficit is empowerment. Um, a lot of people talk about things, but there is no action. So in my mind, empowerment comes from when you actually put your words into action. And with the Trouble Movement, that's exactly what we do. We aim to connect with young adults and youth, you know, ages 13 to 25, just giving them new ideas and possibilities of their future, for employment and their future education, and just really connecting with them spiritually to let them know that whatever you want to do, all things are certainly possible. So that is one of the major reasons why I chose to join the Trouble Movement. Um, my vision for the Trouble Movement is to become this global phenom where we are touching continents all over and just empowering with our stories, with our life experiences, because a lot of people want to connect, but there are no, you know, nothing that you can buy with. So with us being young adults ourselves, we can, we're actually able to connect with those who are coming up in these, you know, um, generations and then they can look up to us as role models. So that's exactly what's needed in this community. Black young adults who are strong and powerful, educated and driven, not just by money or, you know, with the fame, but with really wanting to begin service. Um, and how I can give back is just with connecting with young adults, young women, young boys, just with my real life experience, being extremely transparent, letting people know that, you know, getting through life is already hard, but if you have something that's keeping you grounded, that you have a strong foundation, there is absolutely nothing you can't do. There is no way that you can fail. So just really connecting on a real life basis where there, you know, you can put your flaws out there. You can be um, very transparent. Like we know that, yeah, I too, you know, go through struggles, um, struggles and yeah, I've been troubled, but you know, I can keep that greater vision in mind and that's overcoming. And that's through service and empowerment. How you doing? My name is Charles Kelly. 
emerging from Southern California. I joined the TTM movement after I read the book from Amanda Evans. It helped me relate to my own life. and think about some of the struggles I, I grew up with as well as we all do. I gave up on life around 14, 15. And so the way I see it is I can help some of the young people who are going through the same type of issues now so that they don't have to go through the things that I did and make some of the same choices that I made. I'm here and I'm ready to get going. What is the Trouble Movement? Um, two years ago, I published this book, Trouble in My Brain Days. And when I published this book, I had to make the decision to put my life out there and everything that I've been through. There were a lot of things that I was going through that people didn't know. Uh, my sexual abuse, my family, no one knew about that except for a few friends. So after I released the book and self-published it, I decided that you know, there's a lot of other women and men out there who are dealing with the same thing that I dealt with. And so after people start reading it, I start getting a lot of feedback and women were telling me, you know, I have the same story. I've been through the same thing. We relate so much. And how can you help me? And so I thought, I was like, okay, I can do something with this. And originally it was just a hashtag. It was like the trouble movement, trouble takeover. Like it was just a social media hashtag. And it transformed into this movement and this thing that I stood for that says turn your pain into purpose and building perseverance against adversity and stop the violence, release the silence. These are all things that I just kept saying to myself that boiled down to the trouble movement. And, you know, it took a while. It took a lot of courage. It took a lot of strength. It took a lot of money. Um, it's still hard. It's, it's, you know, it's growing and it's eventually going to get bigger. And just recently we became a 501c3 nonprofit organization. Uh, that took me three to four months to build, which is, you know, we have federal status as a, an official nonprofit. So it kind of progressed into from a hashtag to a nonprofit organization and eventually it's going to grow and be a part of the world. So I want it to be about the teens and the young adults that are struggling today and I want them to know that somebody understands them, somebody's on their side, somebody knows how they feel and so that's what the trouble movement is for. The trouble movement is the positive version of a negative definition. So trouble is negative but the trouble movement is the optimistic version of that given definition or situation. And so we're going to tell all the teens and young adults out there, we're going to show them that we are here for you and there is another way. Sing it to him, baby.